welcome back to my channel you guys thank you so much for joining me welcome back i truly appreciate you tuning in watching binging listen <laughs> however you do it you guys i'm completely grateful so happy so extremely happy that you're enjoying the content and i'm gonna keep churning them out all right so this particular video is literally going to probably be a long one either which way bear with me um this video if you can't already tell by this little display which is empty this video is going to be my entire Louis Vuitton collection all right so I don't have some massive huge collection and I shouldn't really even say that because even if you do have a massive Louis Vuitton collection listen to each its own congratulations because honestly, there are a lot of Louis Vuitton items, some pieces that I've always wanted to get and I was never able to get. And of course, you know, as luxury goes, they come and go when it comes to like seasons, collections, what have you. And you guys, I'm not gonna lie. As much as I do spend on my bags, I don't feel like paying the premium to get a bag that's either out of stock, um, a seasonal bag, you know, not in rotation anymore or whatever. So. You know, it is what it is. I chalk it up to a loss. But I love the things that I do have. Um, you know, I've, I've been collecting some Louis Vuitton items, you know, not for that long. Um, you know, because it did take me a while to kind of decide what I really, truly wanted. And a lot of times when I see something, you know, I kind of still just hold off on it. If it's available, I'll go ahead and get it. But either which way, like I said, let's go ahead and jump into it so it's not completely long. But again, this is my entire Louis Vuitton collection and I have a little bit of everything um, I have some bandeaus I have some notebooks um, yeah so you'll see all right here we go all right so before I start I know a lot of you um, are new to my channel you're probably thinking to yourself she dresses so completely casual but yeah you know what occasionally I will be dressed up depending on what I'm doing where I'm going but most of the time I'm always in just really just laid back casual kind of like tights yoga pants um, occasionally jeans but I'm more comfortable in my tights my yoga pants my sneakers um, if I have an event if my husband and I are going somewhere date night whatever no I do dress up but for the most part either which way just because you buy luxury doesn't mean you have to dress a certain way that's not what luxury is about at all you understand so the point I'm trying to make however you feel comfortable beautiful fabulous luxurious that's how you dress all right so either which way enough of that the first bag I am actually going to show you of course is going to be my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM and that's gonna be in the Damir Azure print all right so of course as you know if you are at all familiar with Louis Vuitton and you're familiar with the Neverfull which of course is always everywhere this bag is definitely spacious it's just a regular tote bag as you can see i do have um, an organizer in there and that's what i helped um, keep its shape and as you saw in there as well it comes with the attachable detachable um pochette so i keep that in there as well um but yeah really that's it i have the mm i actually am in love with the Damir Azor print. I just like the brightness of it. Um, I like the way it looks. I know a lot of people are a little bit afraid of it because it does get dirty a little bit, but um, I really like that print. I think the a bean is just a little bit more of a casual look, and sometimes you can kind of play up the Azor look. But either which way, I've had this bag for a while. I do like the way the Vaquetta kind of like, you know, turned a little bit because um, it just looks a little bit more aged and it's beautiful, and I love it. All right, so that is my Louis Vuitton Never Fool in the Damir Azure. The next bag is going to be Louis Vuitton Crescent, and this is going to be, again, in the Damir Azure print because I do love this print. Um, as you can see, there is actually a Twilly on here, and this Twilly is from Hermes. So... Please do not let anyone tell you that because it's a Louis Vuitton, you need to get a Louis Vuitton bandeau. No, I like the orange. I like that classic orange um, Hermes has with their colors. Um, 
and I actually like the contrast of this Twilly with the Dalmere Azure. So it works for me. I like it. And that's just what it is. But again, the corset is a very cute crossbody bag and it does hold a great deal. I think once you kind of do the um, pouches, like I said, the card holders, you're going to get a lot in there. So it is just one big compartment. And then of course you do have this flat um, pocket right there. This particular bag of course has the um, detachable strap. However, that strap is not adjustable. Um, it still sits, it sits well enough on my hip, but it doesn't sit as low as I would like it to sit. So um, I don't often reach for this bag when it comes to crossbody bags. I'm always more than likely going to reach for a bag that I can adjust and it can sit really low on my hip. So again, not to say I don't wear this bag. I do. Um, I took it with me when I went to go visit my sister. Um, and it was literally my go-to bag so it's handy it's cute top handle crossbody shoulder you can wear it either which way but that is my Louis Vuitton corset and Damir Azure all right my next bag is going to be my never full in the PM and that's going to be in the Damir Ibn canvas print and this bag, I know we have a lot of commentary when it comes to this particular bag. A lot of people ask me about um, the pochette, which of course is a little bit smaller than that Never Full MM. However, it will definitely fit a passport holder. It will fit a card holder. You also have this little flat pocket right here so you can put cash in there. So if you really didn't want to take a purse, there you go. You're good to go and hands-free still um, with the PM because it is a smaller bag um, I'm gonna just speak for myself because I know I have broad shoulders and I have like thicker arms so either which way this strap these straps are not going over my arm I'm not even forcing it so what's gonna happen is this bag is always carried as a top handle bag in my hand or it's gonna be carried in the crook of my arm and that's normally how I always just carry this bag and again I put the little mini pochette in here attach it and just throw some stuff in there but this bag is awesome I really do love it I do actually use it a lot um, truth be told so it works for what it needs to work for and I love it right so there you have it that is my never full in the PM Damir Ben. all right you guys so I think when it comes to Louis Vuitton and starter bags or first time bags, a lot of people tend to gravitate towards either the Speedy, whether it be the Bandolier or just the regular Speedy, or they always gravitate to um, the Neverfull as their first bag, which is completely fine and that is okay because honestly, to tell you the truth, both of these bags are wonderful. You know, they literally hold its value they literally do what it's supposed to do and I love that about these bags I do not will not ever regret getting these bags I think this is always gonna stay in my collection so I do love all my Louis Vuitton pieces um, but for example this particular bag that I bought I did wind up getting it in the bandolier because I felt like um, I'm sure just like how everybody else feels when they buy it it's convenient so this bag is definitely going to be a top handle bag that you can use it as crook in your arm and of course because it is the bandolier it does come with a strap which is both detachable and adjustable um and i like that so hands free it fits a lot and currently right now i actually have and if you can see it because both the interior and the organizer um, are both red and yes I did that on purpose because um, I just like the way it looks so right now I do have an organizer in there and again just like the never full I keep it in here to keep its shape however if you didn't want to put an organizer in there that is definitely up to you to each its own um okay so that is your speedy bandolier in a 30 um, and of course the numbers are going to be the size of the bag that you have. So I have a 30, it goes down to a 25, um, whether it be the bandolier or just a regular one, but the 30 is the one I chose because I felt like it's gonna um, satisfy my needs, all right? So I am actually going to keep with this particular bag because 
two other items that I have in my Louis Vuitton collection are these bandeaus. So it's going to be bandeau one, bandeau two, because yes, you pay for them separately. Um, and this is the purple rogue, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I definitely will put the link and everything like that in the description box below. Um, once I definitely research or look at my tags or whatever like that, but that is my bandeaus and I decided to put it on the handles of um, this Speedy and the reason why is because with your hands a lot of times you have oils, you have water, you have dirt and I really don't want to mess up the handles because again I would like to pass this down to my girls whoever decides they want to have it, my mom, my sister, family, friends um, and again I never say never so if I do decide I wanted to sell it later on down the line for any reason um, I'm just not grabbing it. Um, you know, I just didn't want it anymore. Whatever. I want it to be in the best condition possible because if I am going to sell something to anyone, I want you to be able to feel like you just got a brand new from the store. All right. So there you have it. The Speedy 30 Bandelier in the Damir Ebin. And you do have the two Louis Vuitton um, Bandos. All right. So as you guys already know, this is a newly added piece to my collection. Um, you guys saw me when I unboxed this um, in my luxury haul and I was really excited when I picked this one up because I actually did want this particular um, piece which is the double zip pochette in the giant monogram in the jungle collection. So I wanted this particular bag um, from the beginning when the jungle print collection dropped but I kind of just wasted time of course like we all do and it was sold out but i was told one came in brand new like brand spanking new into the store my essay actually grabbed it and held it for me she called me and i told her i will be there right away to come and pick that up and i was like is it new is it like new new because if it is i want it. if it's something that somebody brought back i don't i know i'm picky like that but at the end of the day um I want to be the first one to actually use it. I want to be the one to, you know, have that new car smell, but that's just me. Um, but either which way, yes, this is a brand new piece that was added to my collection um, just recently. But again, it is the Louis Vuitton double zip in the jungle print. And as you know, the double zip, of course, is for the two pochettes that are connected together. But the great thing about it is you have the pochette one pochette two which both have different prints on each side and then you do have a middle compartment so it's not like anything is falling through there it's literally like an easy access right there for you so I do love that so I'm gonna kind of start wearing this a little bit more um, because I like the contrast of um, the animal print and just a plain black with the animal print LV on that all right, so there you have it. That is my Louis Vuitton double pochette, double zip pochette in the jungle print. All right, next, you guys. <laughs> the love it or hate it bag is a Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse, and that's going to be in the monogram print. So this particular bag, short little backstory, um, I was actually... In the mall in the boutique and i was looking at the pochette matisse in the pink umprunt leather and i adore like adore that color i was considering um the pink and the umprunt however i did ask um the essay that was there that day i was like hey do you guys happen to have and before i can finish my sentence she was like yes i was like the pochette matisse in the monogram she was like yes literally just got it in no one has seen it no one has touched it no one is even on the list because everybody kind of just forgot about putting themselves on the list because everyone was just like you know what there's no way i'm gonna get it there's no way he's gonna come in there's a list so long that there's no point of even going on it so when she pulled this out i was like yes please wrap it up here you go let me hurry up and get out of here and that was it so either which way i do love this bag but again the pochette matisse is a classic like i said you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it and that's really just going to be depending on you know this clasp closure um or 
the glazing and I think that's what a lot of people had issues with it was the glazing I don't have any issues with mine that I can tell that I can see but I mean for the most part I don't use it to death so I'm fine but there you have that all right and so keeping with this particular bag like I was telling you guys before um, I have you know Louis Vuitton collection of all sorts so once again like the other bag I do have a bandeau on this one and this one is the red rogue um, and again I will leave the description of these below so this is what's kind of wrapping the vaquetta on this particular bag because again with this bag because it's not normally used as a top handle bag you're going to constantly keep holding it like this and the vaquetta is going to either get messed up and have certain spots the oils are going to get on there and again i don't want to do that so as of right now it's still kind of like There you go, if you can see, in pristine condition. So it still kind of looks like that, you know, like I just got it, and that's because it's covered, but I'm okay with that. So either which way, I love this bag. I love the fact that I put the bandeau on there, and that's two items in one when it comes to part of the Louis Vuitton collection. So the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and Monogram, and the Louis Vuitton Rogue Bandeau. All right, you guys, if this video goes incredibly long i apologize my fault um okay so this is one of my newer bags as well this is going to be the boet chapeau soplo and this is going to be in the giant monogram collection um print so you have it to where it's kind of like a reverse monogram if you would so you have like that reverse monogram um color style and then of course you have it on this way um i love this bag especially because i love the fact that it actually has a luggage tag attached to it I've always wanted the little luggage tag just to kind of have by itself and put on my bag but um i don't think my store has ever really had any to spare um because i really wasn't trying to like actually buy it and i didn't even know if it if you can buy it because i wasn't going to but Either which way, I have one that actually has one on there, and if I wanted to, I can easily just detach it and use it for something else. So, there you have it. My Boet Chapeau Sopla in the monogram slash reverse monogram print in the giant monogram collection. All right? All right, you guys. So, my next two items are actually going to be more so of... A collector's item than me actually using it um it's weird because I love the notebook I love notebooks let me say that because I'm always writing something down I don't care what it is a thought comes into my mind I have a notebook I have paper I have pen um either which way I'm saying that I'll just say I have a complete obsession and love for notebooks I should have been a writer don't know why I wasn't but either which way here we go. This is my World Tour Louis Vuitton notebook, and I adore this so much. Um, this came exactly like this. I didn't um, customize it or anything like that. It is just what it is. I really wanted the one with a dog, um, and I believe that was more so in the Tamir Bin print, whereas this is going to be in the monogram. Um, and then, of course, you have a little, what does it say, Hotel Fuji. Um, right there <clears throat> excuse me you do have the flamingos right here the Louis Vuitton stamp right here which has a lot of the cities states countries and what have you and of course a little car so I thought it was cute um, the pages are just a regular if you can see it because I know you know the light it's just a regular white lined paper Louis Vuitton at the bottom you have a little tab to hold place so yes this is more than likely a collector's um, item and I'm glad I picked it up so yes that is my world travel notebook in the monogram print all right so keeping with notebooks <laughs> I think I went ahead and unboxed this with you guys before in one of my um, last videos and of course this notebook is actually I know the light is really just kind of like not doing justice but this is part of the giant monogram um, 
collection and this in a way kind of matches my on the go so i got it definitely because of that because i love that bag so much but if i ever decided to use it this notebook is going to be going with me in my bag same thing i love the fact that when you open it you have that black and white monogram it's so pretty but it is just regular paper you guys just with the louis vuitton name right at the bottom but it's cute and i like it so it is what it is so yes i am a notebook girl there you have it two different nope two of the same notebooks just in different prints all right okay so now even though i'm definitely not going in a particular order pretty much all the last things are um the accessories so here we go we actually have the mini pochette of course as you know and i don't go anywhere without this i kind of uses for everything so this is my catch-all so you guys i kind of put a little bit of everything in here whether it be band-aids makeup um lip balm which honestly i'm not gonna sit here and lie you guys my lips are so dry like so dry and i apologize if i did not moisturize today all right so this is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I love the little gold chain detail. You can definitely um, detach this particular um, lobster claw clasp and attach it to, um, let's say, for example, the Neverfull if you wanted to. This is a cute little thing. And this one is actually in the Damir Zor print and it's called Birds Playing. There you go. Cute. All right. So, of course what would my collection be without the most <laughs> used items that I have? And you guys always know what I'm doing and what fits in my bag. I always have these two things. So I'm going to start with this one first, which is the Louis Vuitton key clay. And I did get this one before I got my key ring and I used it a great deal, but I think I didn't like exactly how I was using it because I mean, honestly, truth be told, I can add the keys into this little ring right here and then stick it back in here. But I don't know, it was something about it. It just didn't mesh with me. So now I kind of just use it for either a few little cards or kind of like a charger. But again, you can take this, you can open it up. I don't know why I always have an issue opening this. I think that was another reason too. There you go. Open it up just like so. And then you attach it once again to the D-rings that are in your bags and you'll be good to go. So you will not lose this because it'll be attached right to your bag. So this little key clay is in the monogram print and it does come in a bean as well as a Zor. Okay, so next, of course, as you know, my six ring key holder. I love the, what is that, rose ballerine. I do love the interior color of this particular um key holder and that's why I got the Ibin because the fact that this rose ballerine color in the interior just went so well with this darker color so I like the way that was but this is this is actually and you can tell just it's used a lot I don't know if you can see it just a little bit of dirt right over there so Either which way, it still holds up because, I mean, you don't really see too much, um, too many scratches or anything like that when it comes to the Ebene itself um, or the canvas. So it's a nice little accessory to have. Um, and again, the thing I didn't show you was if you just needed to just go, you can actually, I mean, even though it seems like it might slip out because you're closing, you know, your key holder, it's not going to slip out, but you can easily just put your driver's license right in here some cash some cards and you guys you're good to go so yeah you can start to see kind of like the little wear where this dirt is right here but i'm sure i can probably clean that off or even take it to louis vuitton and maybe they can probably do it with like a cleaner but yep that is my six key my six ring key holder in damir ibin so i love this like i said these three right here literally go with me everywhere i just never leave home without that next 
next you guys i was so excited when i actually got this wallet like i looked for this wallet everywhere like everywhere i got it last year and the reason why i wanted this particular wallet is because i'm not the type of wallet girl to have like the kind of like zip wallets where they only open up a little bit i don't know if that makes sense this wallet right here opens up all the way like i can literally bend it over like completely um it's just one big canvas around and you can kind of tell and you can see because you have this i think that's what everybody didn't like the most about the adele wallet but you know it's okay if you don't open it like crazy all the time you're not going to really have any issues but for the most part if i'm using a crossbody bag you guys or if i'm going somewhere where i'm not going to use a bag that's big enough to fit this i'll take my cards out and i'll put it in a card holder and i'm good to go but the thing about the Adele is the fact that these two little tabs at the top literally can hold whatever else you want it to hold. Some people keep changing there. I still have like the little tags from this wallet. Um, I keep just a few little things in here. More so just paper, no coins or anything like that. I have a complete separate coin holder. Um, it's not a Louis Vuitton. It's something I got from CVS and it's so adorable, so cute. And it works. Um, so either which way... Everything doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, name brand or luxury. It's just if it's cute, I'm probably more than likely getting it. So anyway, I do love the red pull tabs. Um, I like the fact that it has a lot of compartments. So again, the two zippers at the top right there. You do have, um, what is this? Three, six, 12. You have 12 card slot holders and then you also have two little compartments right here to put cash and what have you receipts to whatever so this wallet holds a lot and if i'm able to and if i have a bag that i can carry it i'm always going to carry this wallet because i love it to death this wallet is just so adorable so that is my louis vuitton adele wallet in the monogram print Okay, so the very last thing when it comes to my accessories, it's actually going to be my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch in the GM size. This pouch, like, I'm not a makeup person, you guys, as you know. Every once in a blue moon, you'll probably see me with like some eyeliner, some, you know, I try to do lashes as much as I can because if I get the hang of it, I'm going to probably do lashes all the time. And it's not to say that, you know, just because I don't wear makeup, I don't like makeup. It's just the fact that it's so hard to put lashes on. I really don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm literally always on every single YouTuber's channel when it comes to makeup. And I still can't put those lashes on. I don't know what it is. And I don't want to get the extensions or whatever because at the end of the day, I tried that one time and I was going to Vegas. And when I say that nail technician, wherever I got it from, did not do it correctly. Like, I look like I was literally coming from a hangover or whatever because the lashes were coming off. They were hanging off of my eyes. I I just look crazy. So I was like, you know what? Never again. It's whatever. Okay, I just don't have eyelashes. It is what it is. Listen. Listen. I <laughs> it, it is what it is. So I've tried to... I've tried to the best I can, to the best of my ability. I tried to continue to keep practicing, to kind of like put them on. Because once I put them on, once I keep practicing, it's going to be like nothing. You know what I mean? Because one thing I do like, I like my eyes. I have really large, um, either circular or sometimes they're like almond shape. But when I put mascara on, when I put eyeliner on, my eyes kind of just pop. And that is the best feature to me. And I do like that. So a lot of times because I don't wear like a full face of makeup because I either just don't have the time. I don't know what makeup works for me. Um, I just do my eyes. You know what I mean? So because I don't have eyelashes, I want to be able to kind of like, you know, accentuate my lashes a little bit. Not just out of control where it's like I feel like I have something in my eye. Just, you know, a little tiny like, you know, give it a little something, you know. But either which way. I know I went around that, but this normally is a makeup pouch if that's what you want to use it for, but I don't put makeup in here. I don't use makeup for this. I actually use this um, for my feminine products, and I have a little bit of everything in here, 
but I'm going to go into the fact that how much I love this cosmetic pouch because you guys, not only is it one big open compartment right here, you actually have, I'm going to assume that it's for a lipstick holder. You can put some cards in here and then on the opposite side, you can put a, you can put some more cards right in here for the slot for that as well. So, um, as you can see, I have, you know, my little products that I have in here. I have some lotion in here. I have some wet ones for the kids for like their faces. I have some Benadryl in here. You guys, literally, I try to come prepared and stay prepared. And I have a Band-Aid. So either which way you need it, I got it. Because at the end of the day, I do not have time to stop or spend money to go to CVS to get some Band-Aids. I get everything I need to get. And then I replenish if something is either out of my bag or somebody took it out or whatever. So that way I'm never without. So I know I said that was the last thing. But you guys, for some reason, I always forget about this little card holder. And that's because I guess I just don't reach for it. I don't use it. And I know I said I was going to give it to my husband or my brother. Um... I'm just going to see if they want it. If not, who knows? I might just do a giveaway or sell it or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I don't reach for it. It's really cute. I'm not going to say it's masculine because, I mean, you can use it for whatever. But honestly, for the most part, I just I just don't reach for it. I always forget that I have this. So you have it to where it's card slot one, card slot two. And then, of course, you have this middle compartment that you can either put cash or some more cards in. But, yeah, that's it. This is my Louis Vuitton card holder in Damir Ibn. And I really honestly don't know what I'm going to do with this because I don't grab for it. So, that's it. All right. I know you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Girl, something is missing. No, it's not. You guys, how, how can I, because I won't ever, ever forget this baby. Like literally, I waited like a whole month, probably in a half for this thing to come and it was worth the wait. So this is my last item of my Louis Vuitton collection, but it is the best item in my opinion, because I do love and adore this bag. And again, I am a tote girl all the way. That's just what it is. A majority of my bags are totes because it works for me. And who knows, once my kids are literally all out of the door, I probably will never need a tote a day in my life. I will just kind of convert to my crossbody bags no matter what it is. But for the most part, it's still in me that I need to grab for a tote. And the thing about it is this bag isn't just about being a tote bag. It's a travel bag. It is a beach bag. It is a whatever you want it to be bag. You understand? Whether you want to have it be a diaper bag, a beach bag, a gym bag, you guys, an everyday bag. That's up to you. This bag is everything. And I'm going to explain. And the reason why is because you have it to wear. This is a top handle bag. I'm trying, there you go. There you go. Give me the light. Give me the light. So this is a top handle bag. However, if you wanted to, you just pull out the handles and now it has become a shoulder bag. So this bag is definitely versatile. This bag is so just on point with everything. I just love what they did. It goes with and matches everything and anything you want it to match with. I don't care. It has so many multiple colors. This bag, you can do whatever. It's playful. It's summertime. It's wintertime. Like, you guys, get you. If you live in an area where it's, you know, cold, you know, that fall season or whatever like that, you take this bag. You can get yourself a cute little turtleneck, a nice little, like, um, coat, and you can just rock this right on your arm and you're good to go. You know, so listen, the red side is the fall side <laughs> and the pink side is the summer side. All right. That's how you work it. So either which way, that is my Louis Vuitton on the go in the giant monogram. And I simply adore 
this bag. So I've not had any issues or anything like that with it. Um, it works for whatever I need it for. It's nothing is in here except for like bubble paper right now. But normally when I use this bag, I'm always putting an organizer in here because again, I do not want to mess up the interior because it is a light pink material. And I just, I can't see dirt in my bags. I don't know what it is. Um, but either which way, that is it. There you have it. That is my entire Louis Vuitton collection. All right. And comment below if you enjoyed this video, like you guys. And I do appreciate it. That means you are enjoying the content and um, you saw something that you enjoyed and you liked. And so either which way, you guys, I do hope you still enjoyed or I hope you enjoyed <laughs> I hope it wasn't too, too long for you. If it was, you guys, I apologize, but I'm a talker, all right? So, subscribe, click the bell to get notified, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.